So another must do when you're in the Hunza Valley area is eat a yak burger. Now you can get yak burgers in a lot of different places around town, but the most popular by far is the yak grill. What do you guys think? Is this the yak we're gonna eat, you think? No. Yeah, no, no, no. So yeah, the yak grill, uh, quite famous for their yak burgers. It'll be great to take a look at their menu, see what they have, and if we're very lucky, Brandon, my force might want to show you something. What'd you find? Uh, the horns, yes, sir. Force was touching the eye. Touching the eye, yeah. So if we're very lucky, we'll be able to see the guys uh, actually cooking. So you want to see that, Granite? Yeah. We'll compare the yak burger to a beef burger, just sort of see. They've got all types of little swag on the window, a very popular spot. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we'll step in, take a look at the menu, and uh, see what we can order. All right, so we've stepped up. We have kind of an explanation of all the options. Now, some items they don't have right now, but for sure, you've got the yak burgers. So we'll go, Cedar, do you want your own yak burger? We'll do three yak burgers. Four is going to have part. Yeah. Yeah. Three yak burgers. Uh, you, you said you've got the corn soup? Yeah, right. Okay, corn soup. Um, one. And cold drinks. And the paso potato. Oh, and the and the potato. What's on the potato? Uh, it's our potato wedges with our sauce. Okay, yeah, one order. Maybe two. Or, or how about two orders of that? Two orders yeah, of two that. orders of the potatoes. So you've got the hand pounded burgers made right as you order them. It's interesting to think about yak meat compared to beef and what the fat ratio to, to protein ratio is. You know, usually on a beef burger, it's a good 80, 20. And that looks like a healthy amount of fat in there. So I bet it's certainly like a, a nice fatty burger. So hound handed onto the grill. And you can see we ordered these fries. So these are fresh cut potato fries as well. Nothing frozen, it's all fresh. Food is served. Quite delicious looking burgers. What do you think, Cedar? You think you can eat that whole thing? I'm not sure if I can do this. Oh, that'd be a great thumbnail, by the way. You want a burger? Okay, I guess Forrest is stealing my burger. And here comes another one. Oh, wow. Right for granite. Thank you. Boom. Looks delicious. Safe, safe, safe. Okay. It's all good. We got it. All right. It's all good. Saved it. All right. Well, we'll bring out the fries here in just a minute and we'll get started in this epic meal. Oh, oh more fries. Oh. Wow. We should have definitely only done one. Yeah. Um, that looks amazing. <laughs> okay. How were those first bites, guys? Great. How's the meat taste? A definitely a different taste. Okay. I can't, like, get it out. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's unique all its own, but different than beef. Yes. What, what do you think, Cedar? I think less fatty. Less fatty. Okay, okay. A little more lean. How's it taste compared to like a uh, beef burger, Cedar, for you? Mm -hmm. I think this is better than every burger we had. Really? It's one of your favorites? Wow. It's probably, I mean, when I look at the burger, <laughs> it's cheese, it's lettuce, some kind of like a white mayonnaise or a ranch sauce, tomatoes, onions. How's your soup, Cal? The corn oh, soup. Oh, it's good. It's a little hot, but it is... um. Peppery. Oh, good. cool, yeah. cool. It's a corn soup with like a egg drop in it. Nice. All right, well, here it goes for first bites of a yak burger. Mmm, that is definitely different than beef. The salty pepper seasoning, quite delicious. Yeah, very good. I would say excellent. Yep. Very good. Have you guys tried the fries? Yes. Mm -hmm. but just, just look at that potato. Seasoned, twice fried, I saw the guys. Pretty good, we'll give it in some of this ranch here. Mm. It's a thick cut fry. Mm -hmm. The star of the restaurant though, honestly, yak burgers. That is so good, right on the inside there, all those layers. Mm. That is a great burger, agreed? So I have finished my entire plate, quite proud of myself. Guys, how's it going over here on this side of the table? So full. Slowing I'm, down. Yeah, I'm so full, this plate is so good. You just can't stop. The onions, the tomatoes, the burger, quite delicious. Forrest, how's your bun? How's the water? Okay, cool. You see, it's so good, you can't speak. Wait, what, oh, your bun's good? You like the bun? 
Nice. Kel, soup? Soup is good, but I ate so many potato, potato wedges. wedges that yeah, I'm they're soup. addictive, the potato wedges. I would definitely get the potato wedges with your burger. The yeah. burger actually came with three wedges. Which we didn't know. Which, yeah. had we known, we probably would not have got the extra Two. Extra two, but I'm kind of glad we did, but now I'm totally stuffed. Yes. Do you guys think you're gonna finish your burger, Granite? What, me? Yeah, are you gonna finish it? Throw it, you're throwing in the napkin, as they say? Yep. Cedar, Maybe. are you gonna finish that? Maybe. Maybe? You still got a few a few more bites in you? Nice. How, how are the Fantas? Good. Yeah, we uh, noticed they had some sodas in the cooler, so we're like, all right. Yep. Classic Coke for Cali. Fantas for the kids. Sprite for me. Not bad. Forrest gets the water. The Yak Burger experience, should that be on the bucket list? Yes. yes. I think so. And a boat. And a boat. Okay. And a fish. And a fish. So 3,500 uh, Pakistani rupee. So not bad. I mean, that was a lot of food, plus the drinks, waters, sodas, fries. Soup, uh, potatoes. Soup. Yeah. yeah anyway, well, yeah, it was a good, a good deal. And I would say add it to the list of must do if you're in the Hunza yeah. area. Oh, sure. you, can, yeah. you can get a yak burger at a lot of places, but again, this is the one where they're hand pounded, homemade buns, hand cut fries. Again, the yak grill. You guys again, you all about it? Yeah, yeah cool. I think so. Approximately two kilometers down the street from Yak Grill is the Batur Glacier. And this river that runs all the way down, goes all the way from that glacier and the Batur Glacier is I believe something like the fifth longest or sixth longest glacier outside of like the polar or Antarctica. So it's just this huge glacier. Now unfortunately from here, all we get is a little teeny peak of it. But the fact that the river runs all this long way is pretty cool. Oh, are you guys in jail? I'm District the Council, Hunza Prison. Cedar, you're the cop? Cool. Lock them up as they say. All right, and then just from here, there's a little rainbow bridge we'll go check out. All right, so you got kind of a signboard here, a rainbow adventure bridge connecting the thrills. Yeah, we'll check it out. I don't know if it's free or not. Uh, it's much smaller uh, than some of the other bridges that you can find. Uh, rainbow bridge, a tourist spot, it says. Well, all right, we'll check it out. We got a little bit of a snack shop here. Hello. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you? Did you cross Rainbow Bridge? Yeah. It's not scary? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little scary. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Should we do it? Yeah, I think we should do it. Alright, we'll cross. Forrest might stay here. Forrest, are you gonna come with us or are you gonna stay here? Looks like he'll stay here. All right, Kelly, another wobbly, scary bridge. What do you think? Wobbly, scary bridge. Here we go. Yeah, it appears to be the theme of the day. Yeah, well, they say there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Oh, well, and here we are. <laughs> rainbow bridge. All right, on to the bridge. Now, Granite and Cedar appear to be going it alone. And this is river water. So across the street is the glacier water, where this is river water. Wow, there they go. No fear this time. There's a little shake. So this one's uh, pretty good. That water's really ripping though. You can kind of see two by four construction it looks like. Wow. It's really hard to think about where to look. Up, down, or focusing on the steps. Dan and Cedar definitely have confidence crossing the suspension bridge. There's Kelly back there. Taking some Instagram photos. Woo! Past the river, onto some rocks. How was it, Cedar? Good. It was easier than the other one. Yeah, not as bad. Grant, what'd you think? The steps are definitely longer. 
But if it was the same size as the other bridge, then it would have been more scary. Yeah, this one is uh, short. Yeah. Short and also new. There's Kelly getting towards the uh, the purples. So where's that pot of gold? Three for the gold. Oh well, okay, I guess we gotta head back for the gold. Okay. There goes Cedar. There goes Granite. Cool. All right, you wanna go in front of me or a little bit faster? Let's do it. Woo! Back across the Rainbow Bridge. It's a bit bouncy. A pretty good little, a pretty good little thrill. Kelly's doing great. Kids are almost done. Ooh. Oh, I almost missed my step. I was looking ahead and I totally sank. Wow. I guess you should look at like one step at a time. My eyes were locked on the horizon. I totally missed the board. Granite's got it, Cedar's got it. And voila. Just like that, firm, solid ground. Not too far behind is Kelly on the orange. She's got it. Ooh. Hello. All right, pretty good, yeah? Nice. Okay. Well, Rainbow Bridge. Not a bad little spot, a quick little thrill-seeking uh, activity. Nice work, nice work. Yeah, got a little busy there for a bit. Yeah, it's, you yeah, sort of... The water's really rushing up. The orientation place. is hard, I think. Yeah, it's like, what do I look at? Yeah. Well, there you go, a good way to uh, digest the burgers, I think. Digest the burgers. Get your photo with the glacier, cross rainbow bridge, and that is... Uh, it's a good day right there. Yeah. Welcome to Upper Hunza Valley's only women's weaving center. So this is the biggest weaving center in Upper Hunza Valley and it's all women. You can see Korga Weaving Diversity. We're in Galmet Carpet Center. So I'm pretty excited to learn about the carpets and kind of the interesting, uh, intriguing part to me is that it's, a, it's an all women's center. So to learn about the carpets and, and the women and the patterns that they sew, I think will be fairly interesting. Again, you can kind of see their sign. And as you walk into the building, oh, okay. So you're immediately sort of uh, inundated with information, pictures, photos, examples of the carpets. Oh, that's nice. That's like a very rough texture. Like a thick. Yeah, like a thick carpet. Canvas yeah. almost. Agreed, yeah. And then here's a bunch of the yarns that they use. And again, animals, certainly. Okay, wow. Okay, so again, I like the the entryway. It's kind of a cave. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hello. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wow. So just a very... Uh, small kind of personal setup here. Uh, how many women work here? There are 12 women. How many? 12. So there's 12 women that come and work. And do they make carpets? Uh, yeah, you can see here. Oh. Carpets. Yes. And do they, do they sew every day or they just one, one, once in a while? No, no. They are working every day. Every Throughout day. The okay. Throughout the year. Okay, so you can see just a whole collection of different carpets. And then do the patterns of carpets represent anything region? Like, is, is this like 
uh, this pattern is this for one region? Do they is there a story within the carpets themselves? Yeah, it's for you. Small design, yeah. Different design. Oh yeah, me washk design. This design is this for one one woman does this, or do all women do all different designs? Fifteen days. Yeah. Wow, one woman, fifteen days to make this size, or is this is just the example? Pura banana, it's complete. Complete. Wow. Okay, so they obviously make uh, different sizes. Of, this of is carpet. Kalim. Kalim? Oh, this is Kalim. carpet. Okay. Kalim. Carpet? Kalim. 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 And what is what is Kalim? Kalim ka kya matlab? Yeh wala kam hai. Patla kam hai. Different. Different. Okay, different. So different style. Different style. Different. Different. Because this one's feel, this one feels soft. Yeah. This one feels more rough. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. This one is cheaper than other. Oh, this is less expensive. Yeah. So how much would a, I mean, how much would this cost? Iska kitna? Yes, 4,000. 4,000 rupees. 4,000 yeah. rupees. 15,000. This one is 15,000. This is 15,000. 15, and how much is something like this, this big one? Yes, yeah, kitna? Yes, yeah, 70,000 rupees. 70,000 rupees. And now the animals that are in this one, are those regional? Like I see obviously camel I recognize. What else is in there? This is the camel. Camels? Yeah. Ibex, camels, more. Ah, more. Ibex. Ibex. Okay, all from Pakistan. Yes. Okay. And then what uh what are they what materials are they using to sew? Is it silk? Is it wool? Sheep wool. Sheep wool. Sheep wool. Okay. Very nice. So all of this is sheep wool. Mm. All sheep wool. And then where do these women come from? Are they all from Hanza or are they from all over they Pakistan? Are from the here, locals. They are okay, they're local, so they live here. They live around here. Okay. Wow, that's incredibly fast. Anything see there? And how long will it take them to do one of these carpets? I think this one it takes uh, one month. About a month one from month. start to finish. So it looks like to me like so that's a done carpet and they they they, mo they make multiple carpets. It's part of four. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, so this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, here. Okay, yeah. Oh, there's when a finished one in the back. Yeah, okay, yeah. so basically. One, Each one of two, these three, four. makes four, about four yeah, carpets, four and then they cut. Cut. Okay. Yeah. These are the patterns? Patterns. Okay, wow. Yeah, yeah this is traditional. Okay, where do, they, where do these patterns come from? Is this somebody just yeah, drew it? Yeah, jewelry design, which is the same way in the old design. This is the old design. Old design. Old design. Different old styles. Okay, all different. Okay, wow. So this is an older style. Yeah. So all of these images would be on one rug. Yeah. Do they have one with these characters that are finished? Like, can we see like this? this? Oh, it's on the back side. Okay, okay, okay. No problem. And then, uh, so that's different characters. And this is like maybe what is what's what's this? A flower. Oh, yeah, design. Yeah, oh, birds. I see birds. Birds, yes. Birds, and then a, a flower, birds, maybe. Birds, yes. Okay, and that's what you're working on there. Yes. Wow. Oh. Very cool. So once once they have this, do they not? Do they? They, they must trim off that. Yeah, when and they, do they burn? The, 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 do they? Okay. Yeah, it's just interesting to learn about the process of how they make the carpets. From all that fluff, they must shear that off. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah. So are there other, are there other women here now doing like the trimming or is it just this? Yeah, yeah, when it's complete, they later they have to finish it with the machine. Okay, all right, very nice. So what a unique look behind the carpet making uh, lives of these women yep. in, in the upper Hunza Valley's largest women's co-op center. Very cool. So neat and just to like look at the patterns and the colors and the dyes and 
um, just the intricate work it takes just to even make all the little knots. And, and the time, six yeah. months. That's crazy. Wow, incredible yeah. focus and all that. But you can yeah. see, I mean, just busy work uh, to get it looking the way it needs to look. Quite beautiful. Uh, Shukran, thank you so much for showing us and taking the time to explain all the carpets. I mean, again, a very beautiful center. And if you're in this area, certainly worth coming through to meet these ladies, to learn the process, to see their beautiful carpets. How long have they been working here for? Oh, good question. How long have these particular women been working here at the co-op? Nineteen ninety eight. Wow, this is nineteen ninety eight. So ninety eight. Wow, a long time. Yeah. Very cool. Nice. All right. Well, thank you so much for thank taking you. the opportunity. Yeah. And that is a look again inside the Upper Hunza Valley's largest women's carpet co-op. Very cool. All right, nighttime is upon us. It is dinner and we are after barbecue. So the place we're at now is the Lahore Hazara restaurant. So we're opposite the Atabad Lake. You can really see like all those lights down there, that's all Audubon Lake. It comes all the way down. There's tons of boats over there. I know it's like super dark, but um, we're looking forward to a good barbecue dinner. Right, so while we're waiting for our barbecue, uh, the server brought out a huge plate of berries. So we've got these little blackberries. <laughs> I haven't seen these before. No, they look good. All right, blackberry. Mm. Oh, that so is nice. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow, those are extremely sweet. Did you order this? No. You like it, Forrest? He's got the cherry. Mm. He went straight for the cherries. Yeah, yeah, all right. Again, Hansa Valley, famous for the cherries. Why did you put the seeds? Mm. Just on the plate. Yeah, on the plate. Cherries are good. Those yes. Are good. Excellent. Man, this is great. Blackberries are good. I would oh. say... These blackberries, they're so small, but they're packed full of uh, sweetness. They certainly rival uh, like Michigan blackberries, yeah? Mm -hmm. So much action is now happening in the kitchen. They've got the chicken uh, gravy going on over here. I can see a whole plate of french fries back in the corner. The roti's going. Really hot on the roti. Looking, smelling good, yeah? All the chicken pieces. Wow. Just over that charcoal. Or what is that? That's charcoal, yeah? Yeah. Charcoal. Nice. Yeah, the smells quite delicious. And there's the uh, marinade for the chicken. Hand flipping the roti. The all familiar roti paddle. And you can see it instantly starts cooking. Wow. It just immediately bubbles up. Oh yeah, everything is just coming together. Yeah, it is. So like the, as soon as the roti hits the side of the tandoor, boom, instant bubbles. Oh, he's gonna really? throw. He's gonna throw this one on in just a second. I like that padding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whoosh! You can see. Oh wow! Instant, instant bubbles. Instant oh, bubbles. nice. Let's get the fire going up high. That's gonna be a nice and toasty one. Ooh, that is so good. We'll move out of the way so we're not. Yeah, just right there. Yeah. Onto the table. Boom. But right. on to the table. Boom. But those are ours, actually. Huh? Looks so it delicious. does, it does. Right from the tandoor. A couple of chicken legs, chopped chicken. Oh wow. It smells great. I bet these are getting almost done. Cool, so just an update again after those berries to come see the progress on the dinner. It's gonna be delicious. See what the kids are up to. Are they wrestling? Oh, look, perfect angels. I can't believe it. You guys. I had all these doubts that you would be doing silly things, but here you are. Daddy, you, try, you try the tomatoes? Daddy. Uh, I tried to me my chill. Well, you want to go see the grill? I want to see my meat. Okay, okay. How are the tomatoes? I thought the tomatoes tasted pretty good here. Yeah, fresh, like, like juicy and tasty. 
dinner has been served and what a spread we've got uh, like leg and thigh grilled chicken we've got chicken breast kind of pre-cut up came with a cucumber sauce a barbecue sauce chapati kelly how's it tasting for you delicious are you get is the are the lentils as spicy as they look they're um like they have lots of spices but they're not it's not like hot cool not yeah. too overpowering no it's perfect and each time i get down watches everywhere it's different uh, there must be yeah. a thing like every restaurant has its own unique little uh style, style or yeah spin on it yeah it's really good really good nice mm -hmm. very good Forrest, how are those fries? Good. Good. Is the chicken okay or is it too spicy? It's not too spicy. Not too spicy. Perfect. And Cedar, what are you working on over there? Chicken. The chicken? You got the chicken uh, leg. Tasty? Mm hmm Nice. It's also spicy. Oh, good. But like too spicy or just right? Fine. Cool. And Granny, you've got some masala on your plate. You've got, yeah. you got the masala powder. Are you dipping your fries in that? Yeah. Nice. And that's tasty? Yeah. Cool. So I've got the... Uh, Kind of the, the, the chicken breast, kind of the chopped stuff. Hit it with that cucumber sauce. It's a good yogurt based cucumber sauce. Quite spicy. Yeah, you guys, uh, that chicken is, it's got a little heat behind it. Yeah. Is it just that one or is it this one as well? Well, this is the only one I've had. This one's definitely got the heat, the, the, kind of the fries? chopped chicken. Sure, I'll get you more. Yeah. And then, the, of course, the chicken thigh straight from the go. grill. Here you go, buddy. Mm. You're welcome. Yeah, the charcoal flavor, that's good. I think the I think the thighs are a little less spicy than the uh, than the chicken breast pieces, but uh, both are very good. The twice fried French fries, quite delicious. And of course, we were watching them make the uh, chapati earlier. It's almost a darker chapati than I thought it would be. Um, sort of a maybe it's a darker wheat or something. So going for the uh, the doll here. Mm. Very good. No, oh, quite delicious. So delicious. Yeah, thank good. you. Yeah, you guys, uh, what a meal, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. So again, just a look at the uh, the barbecue, the chicken barbecue options here in the Hunza Valley. Quite delicious. Touch base at the end here as we figure out kind of uh, what the price is for this this big feast here. So in the end, a delicious meal. I'm still eating it. Yeah, it was good. Mm -hmm. 5,080 rupees for the barbecue here in Hunza. It was delicious. It would fit all five of us. There's ample food. We had the berries, we had some milk. Barbecue sauce, cucumber sauce. Fries. Yeah. Delicious. Yeah. All right, everyone. Well, that is a look inside the, uh, the barbecue scene here. Bye.